Hi everyone, I'd like to welcome you back to the new school year. My name is Ken Schrag, I'm the assistant principal at Cannonsburg Middle School, soon to be Cannon McMillan Middle School, and I'd just like to address a couple of the commonly asked questions we get. One of the questions we're often asked is, how is the middle school different from intermediate school? And the main difference that students will probably see will be the size of the building, the number of students, as well as the number of classes they go through during the day. Uh, to assist in that transition, uh, we do have teaming in our middle school, which means that the students, instead of being one of 400 seventh graders, they will be one of approximately 130 on an academic team. And those teams consist of the same teachers, teaching the same group of students. So the English teacher shares the same students as the science teacher and so on. So they get to know the students a little better, a little quicker. Uh, if the student's experiencing a challenge, they can assist with that and multiple teachers uh, can help with that. Students often want to know how to get involved with activities or extracurricular sports at the middle school. Uh, I, I, advise students to carefully listen to the morning announcements, which by the way is one of our clubs here at the school, student-run morning announcements. But when various activities are starting up, whether it's the fall play, the spring musical, or a sport, uh, the sponsor or coach will do announcements and the students attend an informational meeting, typically going to their homeroom to sign up for that activity. Uh, we have a lot of interscholastic sports here at the middle school, uh, fall season, the winter season, the spring season, and Students need a physical to do those sports, as well as attend the informational meeting. Uh, for general contact information, we usually recommend students reach out to the athletic department if they want contact information for a particular coach. Big question as students enter middle school is school safety. Uh, we take a lot of pride in running a safe building. Uh, starts with a lot of uh, procedures and practices in place by the teachers. Um, one common thing we do is a single point of entry once the school day starts. Uh, all visitors must come in through the office. Uh, we have a double entryway. Uh, in the morning when students are getting off the buses, uh, doors are staffed by teachers here. Most importantly probably is we have a full-time school resource officer, SRO Fetsco is at our building five days a week, full-time. He's a Kansasburg police officer who has been specifically trained uh, as a school resource officer as well. So very thankful to have that and that's a, a large uh, preventative. So we look forward to seeing everybody to start off a new school year, especially our seventh graders who will be new to the building. Uh, as well as our 8th graders who are transitioning into the leadership role of 8th graders. Uh, if anyone has any additional questions, we are available to answer those at our student orientations, as well as by giving the school a call or an email at any time. Welcome back, Canada.